everyone welcome to your mid-month reading for august 2019 before i begin with your sign i want to announce the winner for the tarot illuminati is uh, michelle amorine and for the tarot apocalypse is orlando souza okay you can comment for the gilded tarot and uh, this mid-month and i will pick the winners from the comments so if you want to enter the competition just let me know in the comments okay so for personal readings you can go to my website you have uh, one question five question in five questions in love uh, you also have career and love up to eight question reading so everything is on the website you also have uh, love triangle reading how he or she feels about you and um, bringing back eggs attracting love reading so check it out and if you need any advice on um, which one is best for your situation what reading is best you can email me the email is in the description below this video okay do subscribe also to my meditation channel is in the description below and the link I have a YouTube channel which is um, guided meditations and also binaural beats so if you like to meditate go there and subscribe okay now let's begin with the reading hello Leo welcome to your reading Leo Sun Moon rising and Venus signs let's see 15 till the 31st of August Leo going to do a true love spread first you can find this spread on my website as well as the personal okay leo 15 wow <laughs> 15 to the 31st so someone wants to have a heart to heart or you want to have a heart, heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with this person they feel that you're the one or this could also be reversed okay it could be your energy so but there's a need to communicate they feel here so for the collective this is majority of the people um for majority of the people th this person feels that you are the one retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so that's the overall energy so you may be seeing someone you may be spending a lot of time or have spent time with this person recently okay so what's the strength hmm. give this relationship a chance but there's finances and career that is the issue so they want to give this relationship a chance but they may be working too um, too many hours or there could be financial instability here what's the obstacles worth waiting for so, someone you know the time is the obstacle this is someone from your past reconciliation is going to happen but there's you need to give it some time but there's a need to really have a heart to heart you know they want to really express or you want to really express how you feel but time is um, you need to wait for the right time outcome Leo 15 to the 31st I do see you um, some of you will reconcile after you know trying to give the relationship a chance but there's just things um, things that especially work and finances okay stay optimistic calling in your soulmate some of you need to do my bring it bring back X reading or oh, someone is doing these affirmations towards you okay prayers visualizations and help uh, you know visualizing them uh, coming to you you guys coming together it will help okay so this is a manifestation 
stay optimistic, always positive thinking for this reconciliation. Okay, let's see what else. Leo, 15, till the fate first. Yeah, someone is walking away emotionally, but okay, there's just a need to really be patient here. Someone is going cold, hot and cold. The King of Swords is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Capricorn also here. Can be any sign. Leo, Sag, Aries. This is someone really distancing or you um, after being very passionate with each other. It could be a Sagittarius here. They may step back or you. There is though. The Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign. Capricorn, especially a Taurus, Virgo. There is someone really giving you stability or um, you also receiving here. Yeah, there is financial stability that you will receive. Okay, it's telling you that it could be support, someone supporting and or uh, lending you money. This is also what you've been waiting for. In your work okay so um, what the seeds that you have planted it's coming to fruition especially in your financial um, situation here the devil card is in your mind you know you trying to stay positive here try to um, not be attached to the the things that are not good for you, the things that, you know, any any type of addiction, any type of toxic situation. You see yourself as you need to make a choice, you know, you need to be clear about your choices. There's, um, uh, if there was confusion, if there was, uh, if you felt too attached as well to, this could be someone very materialistic, uh, you or someone you're involved with because it's in your exterior, someone very materialistic. They really value the, you see, the material world. I'm a material girl. <laughs> this is, yeah, so telling you to, if it's you to really, okay, there's abundance there, but you need, you need balance, okay? Everything in balance. Every, everything. Um, don't just focus on the material things or the material aspect of the relationship even. So if you're looking for someone, um, maybe just, um, you know, valuing the person that truly could um, love you. So this is just for some of you. And you are looking at the the stability that you could have with them, okay? I'm sure it's not for all, or this is someone that is looking at you in this way. There is conflict in the past, but look, you see, what is, is about emotion, is about opening up emotionally. It could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, opening up emotionally. And there is, for some of you, it's an apology, forgiveness, reconciliation you're going to have. But it's um, tuning in to the emotional, the, the feelings that you have. So there is a truly uh, kind and um, heartfelt even message coming your way here. With someone that really has um, true feelings. This is what I'm picking up. The true feelings are going to be revealed. And they are positive. They are positive feelings. Uh, you know, they're very... Um, also as a sensitive person. So they can connect to their emotions deeply here. 
outcome, clarify. Yeah, I feel you overlook this situation or um, avoided talking about your feelings. There's a need for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So that was in the first um, part of the reading. So don't run away from this happy ever after. Don't walk away emotionally yet because there's potential for growth here. The devil, why is the devil here? On So you may have felt that they could be a bit toxic or, you know, they're, um, um, like I said, the material is the devil as well. So they may be very focused on the material, and but they have a different side to them, even though, um, and you also, if it's you that would just focus on the material things, you need to just connect to this. There's a need for balance in this relationship. There's a need for balance in your life, in your love life. Also, he uh, is telling you to value the, your emotional connections. Yeah, someone could have just been... Yeah, there is positive thinking that you should have towards uh, relationships and love this mid-month, okay? And without fear, without fear of the unknown, without fear, um, there could have been two people here, okay? You indecisive. Um, one is more, like I said, one is more about love and the other one is more about just make money, you know, just have the luxury life and could be two people or it's the balance that this person needs or your relationship needs here, okay? So there's a lot of you. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed in your emotions? So this could have been, for some of you, I'm seeing some uh, one night stand here. And you're seeing the value of um, this person. The Queen of Wands. I see someone that could have um, fire in their chart or very fiery. You are, are the Queen of Wands. But I'm, I'm sensing that this is someone that could match your dynamic. Okay. You could be, both of you could be very energetic, could be very determined. Uh, on the same level here. And uh, there's also pets around this person or you. So there's a cat especially. And um, there is just a lack of communication. And you lacking, maybe lacking the clarity and you want to step back uh, intimately. Okay. Or, you know, you um, felt that the, the communication was toxic and you... You step back from being intimate. I think that you're not understanding each other here. Could be an Aquarius. There is abundance coming in for you. Some of you, um, I do see a single parent energy here. So you could be a single parent uh, or you're involved with someone that is a single parent. I do feel that there could be the um, interference, uh, interference of others. They're not helping heal this relationship. But if someone uh, very independent here, you could be feeling like this. Uh, abundance is coming in for you, Leo. Okay. 
what you may not see straight away is this is this end of uh, conflict with with others okay but you will happen you you need to be patient especially if you're waiting for money you need to be patient things are coming okay abundance is coming you may feel left out but you need to wait here i'm sensing about three weeks okay three weeks money or whoever if you want this person to return is coming back to you if you feel left out in a cold but there's certainly some good money coming in for you in the next three weeks three to five weeks for some yeah Leo Fifteen to the thirty-first twin flame. Some of you are involved with the twin flame, but the problem is they work or they're working too much. Even working things out with your twin flame. There's a need for spiritual growth. This person could be very spiritual or have a spiritual business. You or them. They're working also on their spiritual growth so these fears if you feel like that um, obviously if it's a twin flame is helping you evolve so you helping each other basically evolve Leo 15 to the 31st courting man's coming in travel someone from a different from a different country country or that he's traveling he or she brunette female courting man travel going see this person or you um here the dating queen being free to date free from a union okay someone wants freedom Someone wants freedom uh, of the relationship, out, feeling free. Um, I see that if you're looking for someone to give you commitment, you should go back into dating, even travel. There is someone that is, uh, because when you feel free, you can find this person to commit to, you know, someone that you will uh, want to be in a union. And the ones that are dating, you need this freedom, you need this time for yourself to find your way into this marriage or commitment, a marriage partner. This marriage partner. Yeah, it's through dating, dating sites or some of you, I don't really like dating sites personally, but you know, there's people that actually have success <laughs> in that but I feel that it's more about travel it's more about you being out and about even taking um, taking a break uh, holiday vacation mature man communication young female true gem so if someone that there's a daughter okay that he could have a daughter triangle hmm. choices communication so you definitely i feel that some of you have someone uh, already and you want freedom and you're going to find and date someone and start and communicate with someone that you will find is a tr has the true gem quality okay has the potential to for you to be in a relationship in a committed relationship uh, with them with them even though some of you you are dealing with a twin flame and it's kind of um, up and down okay and it's, it's going to happen suddenly here you're going to have to take time out of a relationship and be free to find this marriage partner to realize who is the marriage partner sometimes people take a break and just find out 
after giving even speaking to other people and dating others they realize who they want to be with okay so this is what i'm seeing for you here so leo all the best with everything and take care okay hope it helps bye bye